This time, I will introduce the VS Code extension for Docker. Also, while using this extension, we are going to create an Angular 7 Docker image. As a server, we are going to use Nginx running on the Alpine Linux, not Angular's built-in server. In consideration of such an environment, we are going to use Docker running on Ubuntu on WSL, Windows subsystem for Linux, instead of Docker for Windows this time. If you have not installed Docker on WSL, please see another video in advance. First, open Ubuntu on the WSL. Next, as a command line, type code dot to open the Visual Studio Code. When the VS Code opens, click the extension icon on the left side and enter Docker in the search box. Then, the extension Docker made by Microsoft is displayed in the search result list. So, click Install. When the explanation page of Docker is displayed, click Reload and Activate. The Docker extension has been activated. Close the VS Code here. Here we are going to create a project for Angular 7 for testing. First of all, on the command line, type energy dash dash version to check the version of Angular and the version of Node.js. The version of Angular is 7.0 and the version of Node.js is 10.12. Please note this version of Node.js will become important later. Next, we are going to create a test project for Angular 7. Type ng new ng7 initial. ng7 initial is the project's name. It can be another name. First of all, there is a question as to whether or not to add a routing function. So let's say why here. Next, since there is a question of style seed format. Here we are going to select a CSS. The installation will start. This process takes some time. When the installation is completed, go to the project registry and type code dot to start Visual Studio Code. When the VS Code starts up, open the command line window with Ctrl plus backhold key. Then type ngs-o to start the local server. Angular's default page is desperate. It's okay. Return to the VS Code and stop the local server with Ctrl plus C. Next, we are going to create Docker file to copy this project on Engine X running on Alpine Linux. The structure of this Docker file is in two stages. First of all, install uh, Angular 7 on Node.js. Compile this project in production mode there and generate compressed JavaScript for distribution. Next, generate Nginx on Alpine Linux and copy this compressed JavaScript along with the necessary Node.js into its homepage disk directory.
Here we are going to slightly change the contents of the default page in order to clarify that it is a page operated by Nginx. Next we are going to create a Docker image. But thanks to the Docker extension, this operation has become quite easy. Let's play the Docker file with VS Code. Right click in it and display the pop-up menu. Then just select build image. Since there is an inquiry about the name of the image to be generated, let's set NG7 initial column 1.0 here. Column, the following specifies the normal version. Generation will start. This process takes some time. An error occurred on the way. According to the error message in the latest Node.js, there seems to be a problem with SESS is selected in the style format. So change to the version of Node.js that was checked for data first. That version is 10.12. Correct the Docker file and generate the Docker image again. This time, it's okay. Now check if the Docker image was generated. Click the Docker icon on the left side of the VS Code. Then select Images. Then you can see that NG7 initial is generated indeed. Next, we are going to try starting this image locally. From the command line on the VS Code, enter docker run dash dash rm dash d dash p 80 colon 80 NG7 Initial column 1.2. Each specified option is dash dash rm means automatically deletes the container when the container exits. Dash d means run container in the background. Dash p means port number access from outside column port number on the container side. Since Nginx uses edit ports internally, it means that it is made accessible to the outside with edit ports as it is. Here, we are going to confirm the operation by the browser. Since it is made to be accessible to the, to the outside by edit ports. HTTP colon slash slash localhost, you should be able to access it as it is. We are able to confirm the operation of Angular 7 and Nginx on Docker. It's okay. Thank you for your watching.